welcome to Hope Kids. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to Hope Kids. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 through 6. fun even though it was lots of work. Wow. Talking about mountain climbing, it reminds me of a part of a big God story. Before we get into that, let's pray together. Heavenly Father, make our hearts still. Make us rest hear and listen and come to learn more of your story. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
During our last time together, we heard about how God provided for his people as they lived in the desert after leaving Egypt. God delivered them by sending 10 plagues. He proved to everyone, even the Egyptians, that he is the one true God and worthy of all worship. After three months in the desert, the Israelites arrived at the foot of a mountain called Sinai, where they could worship God. While the Israelites camped at Mount Sinai, the Lord called to Moses. Let's turn to Exodus 19 and read Exodus 19, 3 to 5a. Then Moses went up to God, and the Lord called to him from the mountain and said, This is what you are to say to the house of Jacob, and what you are to tell the people of Israel. You yourselves have seen what I did to Egypt, and how I carried you on eagles' wings, and brought you to myself. Now, if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, then, out of all nations, you will be my treasured possessions. Yes, a covenant is a very special promise. Did you know that? And when God makes a promise, he keeps it. God made a covenant with Abraham to bless him and to give him many, many family members. Now, at Mount Sinai, God made a covenant with all of his people. God loves his people and wanted to show them the best ways to live and to worship him as their one true God. Why? Why do you think? Because he's the one true God. God also told Moses he would come to the people. Now let's turn to Exodus 19.9. The Lord said to Moses, I am going to come to you in a dense cloud so that the people will hear me speaking with you and will always put their trust in you. Then Moses told the Lord what the people had said. Moses told the people to wash their clothes. So why don't we... Pretend like we're washing our clothes. They would wash them with their hands and sometimes with rocks and water and soap. Okay. Prepare themselves to see God. If you had been one of the Israelites getting ready, how do you think you might have felt? Three days later, God appeared with thunder and lightning, with a thick cloud over the mountain and with a very loud trumpet blast. Everyone in the camp shook with fear. Wow, it's so scary to hear that thunder and the lightning. Then Moses led the people out of the camp to meet with God, and they stood at the foot of the mountain. Wow, what do you think it would have been like to see all this happen? God is the one true God, and he is powerful. The people stayed at the foot of the mountain while Moses went up to meet with God. There, God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. The commandments are God's laws and instructions. They tell God's people how to live and what it means to be his people. What commandment did God choose to be the very first one? The very first commandment tells us to respect God, the one true God. The people had just left Egypt, a land where people worshipped thousands of gods. But the Egyptian gods weren't real. They were false gods. Because God loved his people, he made it very simple for them. He told them that there is no other God. He is the one true God. And this became the very first commandment. The rest of the commandments told the people how to live in relationship with God and one another. 
As the people chose to follow God's commands by trusting and obeying him, the world could see and know that he is the one true God. God chose his people and rescued them. He loved the Israelites and set them apart to worship him as one true God. And guess what? He chooses us and rescues us today. Because of Jesus, we're rescued from our sins and get to be in a relationship with God forever. When we choose to follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit lives inside us and helps us to follow God's ways. He helps us to worship God as the one true God. Thank you so much for being here today and listening to God's story. I hope you have a great week and we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next week. Thank you for joining us. See you guys next week.